So hi, my name is Henry Egloff and this is going to be a very basic demonstration of creating an animation sequence. Um, this is a, a follow-on from um, my previous kind of tutorial demonstration that was a very basic introduction to creating animation sequences using Adobe Animate CC. So I'm going to um, brush over some of the things that I covered in that other demonstration and I'm just going to move straight into it. So I'm going to create a basic uh, ActionScript 3.0 document and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write some text and always when I use one of these kind of tools like a drawing tool or a text tool you just want to be mindful of what the um, color and the stroke and things like that is, are set to. Um, so I'm just going to set it to black just to keep it nice and simple. So I'm going to write um, some text and I'm just going to keep it really simple here. Um, I'm just going to set that to regular. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and click and drag to duplicate that. Here is How's that? And there are alignment tools in Flash. So, uh, sorry, Adobe Animate CC. You'll, you'll hear me keep accidentally calling it Flash because I'm so used to calling it by its old name. Now, let me try and remember how to do this. Um, window align, and that brings up the alignment tools, and I'm just going to hit that. There we go. So they're aligned in the center. Pretty rough. So what I need is I need all these bits and pieces to be converted to symbols and on separate layers. So I'm going to get this, this one here, and I'm going to modify, convert to symbol, and I'm just going to call it here. And the same for this one, modify, convert to symbol, is, and this one, some text. And like I said, I need them on separate layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one and do um, Command X and make a new layer. And I'll just see what my paste options are. See, there's a paste option here, paste in place. So it'll keep it in the same position. And this one too, um, Command X, and I'll make a new layer here. And paste in place. So I've got the three different bits on three different layers. So what you can do is you can actually click on, say, the top keyframe, hold down shift and click on the bottom one, and then right click and do create motion tween, and that creates the motion tween on all the different layers. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drag the slider to the end here, and I'm going to put a keyframe. I'm just pressing F6 on the keyboard to put a keyframe at the end of the sequence, the tweening sequence. And look, this is a really just a, a simple animation technique. It's like you work backwards. You work backwards to where you want to end up and then you um, basically kind of change things or take things away at the start of the sequence. So what I'll do here is I'm just going to do something really basic. I'm just going to drag that off and I'll drag this one. I'm, so I'm actually holding down the shift key on the keyboard as I drag, just to lock it to the axis, the x-axis. And I'll move that across to the right. And so it'll just create something like that. Done. Now, sometimes another thing you want to do is you don't just want to have a key frame as such. You want to have a frame kind of held without any change. And a way you can do that is by pressing F5 on the keyboard. That doesn't put in a keyframe, but it just puts in a sort of what I call like a held frame. So it will hold it there for a while. And like I said, I'm not trying to do anything too amazing and flashy here. I'm just trying to demonstrate some basic animation techniques. And so, of course, I could save this. Put it on the desktop and I'll call it demo2. And I will do uh, command enter or command return on the keyboard to generate the movie demonstration of it. There we go. Done. And that's all for now. Thanks.